Welcome to my coffee channel. It's been a couple weeks since I made a video. Anybody that follows knows that uh, I went on a holiday trip to Thailand. I was in Thailand for four weeks. I did, in one of the uh, resorts I was staying at, there was this uh, Sintu coffee roaster right down the street. I did visit him quite often. I really did like his coffee. He's in Jantiam Beach in Thailand. So anyway, I bought back a bag of his coffee, a half a pound. Wasn't cheap, about $15. It's called Blue Magic. Uh, it's made up of uh, bourbon and Calmore, Arabica, high grown, 1700 meters. Does, let me see. Oh yeah, it does have a roast on date. About two weeks old. Anyway, I am going to analyze it with my roast right. We're going to cup it. We're going to pull espresso shots. I'm going to score it. And I'm going to let you know how good this coffee is. Should be good. I really like the place. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, let's get my sample brewed. 10 grams. 200 degree water. Fairly nice blue here. 250 grams. Okay, we're gonna let that sit about 14 minutes. I did my roast analysis. I went with my roast right. On the outer bean, it was a 59, about a medium roast, but on the inside grind, it was 89, 30 points. That tells me that this was a pretty fast roasted coffee. But anyway, I'm gonna let my sample brew for about 15 minutes, get my timer going, and then I'm gonna let it cool down. We'll do a pH reading on it. Okay, my sample has been steeping about 14 minutes. It's ready to be sampled. I did pull a pH, it was a 5.89 on my pH meter, so it should have a fairly good bright acidity to it. That is on the good. On the aroma, dry, it was sweet blueberry. On the break, it was more pronounced sweeter blueberry. Let's give this sample a try and see how we're doing. So sweet, very blueberry, that must be why it's called blueberry magic, I assume. Very subtle blueberry notes to it. Not overwhelming. A very nice sweetness. Nice body. Nice acidic tendency. Not overly bitter, not only, but it does have a nice bright finish to it. Definitely, definitely I understand why it's called blueberry magic. It's like having a mouthful of blueberries. Definitely very pronounced blueberry taste in this coffee. Big mouthful, nice balance. A very nice sweetness, isn't that? This is a very nice coffee. I like this coffee. It's well balanced between the seat sweetness, the body, the mouthful. It's all very good. So if you like blueberries, you're definitely going to like this. I'm going to continue to sample it. I'm going to score it. I'm making some cold brew. Be a little in a while. But let's pull a shot. Then uh, we'll come back later. I'll give you my total score on this coffee. And sample the uh, cold brew. It makes a nice crema, pretty thick, very hot. Very pronounced blueberry. A nice, that blueberry has, I don't think the blueberries as pronounced 
as in the coffee sample as in the shot but it does come through as a nice nice shot not overly wow with that shot uh, they don't say on the bag that it's espresso they recommend that you drip brew it or uh, or however your brew method they say they brew this as a coffee I would have to agree to them that doesn't really make a great shot not horrible maybe a nice caramel I'm going to try this uh, it's like a flat not really intense not really much intensity to the shot so anyway I am going to score this I will be back shortly with the cold brew and give you my total score on this coffee be right back been about 12 hours my cold brew is ready with this blue magic Thai coffee just a little sample of it I don't want too much right now I'm just gonna try it it has a very pronounced and very taste to this coffee strong blueberry aroma coming off of it very fruity we haven't talked about you know I would have to say this is a naturally processed coffee with all the fruitiness that it has it's a coffee from uh, I believe the northern part of Thailand too but uh, for a fruity coffee for a natural coffee it's been extremely good after drinking it for a while I'm not really sure how I feel about blueberries in my coffee but uh, definitely unique very different very good but anyway let me give you my score on this coffee so anyway like I said on the roast we had a 59 89 on the inner ground uh, fast roast natural processed coffee uh, fragrance lots of fruity blueberry fragrance on the dry and on the break and in, you know all across the board very nice aroma I gave it a 9 flavor very unique interesting flavor gave it a nine aftertaste the other thing had a long lingering still feeling it on the back of my tongue gave it a nine had a very nice bright acidity gave it a nine uh, sweetness had a lot of natural sweet sugar sweet sweet blueberry you know that sugar very nice nine uh, bitterness there was no bitterness nothing off about it so that's a 10 uh, mouthful like I said the mouthful was big full gave it a 9 uh, balanced I thought it was a nice balance between uh, acidity and mouthful so gave it a 9 uh, I found no defects in it nothing odd about it gave it a 10 and my overall like I said it's a natural process very fruity coffee I'm not going to say I'm like uh, would be overly in love with drinking this coffee all the time but it was definitely an interesting unique experience uh, if you're a coffee aficionado you want to try different things different tastes definitely worth a try anyway I gave it a 9 uh, my overall score on this coffee was a 92 so it made it into the 90 club uh, on, on my value I'd probably give it about a, I don't know, three star because, you know, it was kind of pricey at $15 for half a pound. And uh, if you can get it, like I said, this is from Sinju, uh Coffee Roasters in Jean Dion Beach, Thailand. They're a little small coffee roaster, coffee shop. I uh, wish I could have brought you some more coffee from Thailand, but like I said before, Thailand was locked down, very restrictive to the places I could go. Uh, what was open uh, if anyone's interested uh, I did make a two a few uh, videos of my travels in Thailand I created a whole other channel just to put those on because I didn't want to mix them together so anyone interested in seeing my trip to Thailand I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested in checking that out if not have uh, thanks for watching my channel thanks for watching my video I'll have another one for you next week hopefully and uh, have a great day